Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra and I'm pretty sure I have worn the same three outfits every day of quarantine. So I thought it was time to give my closet a refresh and I wanted to get things that would work during quarantine and post quarantine. So I have been seeing that is Melvin. As you can see, I am not at the same location. My husband is currently ripping up the floors in our house. So I had to come to my mom's house to film this. If you hear any little pitter patters, that's probably her dog Melvin. I ended up going and getting a thread up goodie box. It's $10 and they send you a collection of clothes and everything from thread up is thrifted. They are known as the largest online thrift store. So I had seen a lot of YouTubers and a lot of Instagram uh, posts about thread up. So I wanted to give it a shot. And one of my goals for 2020 is to not buy Emily newly manufactured clothes. So I thought thread up would be a great opportunity. I wanted to open it and see what we got. I do need to prep this by saying I did peek at the list. So I have a little bit of an idea of what's in here. And it has all of the estimated retail prices as well as the thrift up price. And it came with 10 items, which is actually more than any other clothing subscription box that I have tried. Today's drink of choice is passion fruit pale ale. It's from Mother's Brewing Company. I thought it was quite fitting. First, I'm gonna go through all the clothes that we got and then we are going to try them on. So I can already see these are some red leggings and they are from Gigi, I did, Gigi, the model Gigi. I can already tell that this band is not gonna be good for the mom bod. But the quality feels good and they don't look like they've been worn a bunch. It says these are originally $98, but the thread up price is $19.99. Another pair of leggings. These are New Balance. They are originally $71, but the thread up price is $21. This is a band that I actually can get behind. This is an appropriate sized waistband for a legging. Is this a bralette? A crop top? Oh, that'll be fine. <laughs> Let's keep going. Okay, so these are a terry cloth short and they are from Hartford and it says size two. I had to fill out a questionnaire for thread up so they know I am a 30 year old woman who is a size eight. So some of these options have already been questionable. Now the terry cloth does remind me of my youths. It reminds me of the Juicy Couture terry cloth track suits I would wear. I'm not ashamed to say that I worked at Juicy in college. It does have a brand new tag and it says these are $95. And then you've got a white shirt. Okay. There is a stain right on the front of the shirt. That is kind of disheartening because I thought it, you know, looks like it would have been cute, but you know, not with a stain. And then I don't even, I, their top shop, it's says a US 6 but like like six months maybe these are the tiniest things I'm getting really nervous for the try on portion of this oh my lanta it's a little ribbed top with very large buttons again this is very reminiscent of my youth like high school perhaps this is j crew that's more my speed you do have to tell them like what brands you like so I'm very confused. This is just like a sweatshirt. It's originally $60. We're coming down to the last few items. We've got, ooh, okay. This is my style. This is my comfort level. Laundry. And this would be, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. These pants are $167. I'm excited to see what $167 feels like. The last option, these are very heavy. Oof, another one of those really thin waistbands. Easy wear by Chinos, and it's a one regular. And these would be $49, but for some reason, they're then $38.99. But the pair of pants, that's $167 is $31.99. So I'm confused by how thread up does their pricing system. My initial thoughts on these clothes, um, 
It's a mixed bag, that is for sure. Maybe when I try them on, it'll be completely different and everything will be magical. So let's do the try on part. I wanted to rip the band-aid off and put on the scariest outfit first. <laughs> and that would definitely be these shorts that are just, I mean, I don't even, I, I can't even, oh, no, no. And then this crop top, I don't, I don't, between the two of them, I just don't know what's worse. This is the second look, and I don't know if you can see the stain on the shirt. I can't get it to focus, but there's definitely a stain on the shirt. The leggings, I mean, that band is just not what I look for in support. I don't think I would feel comfortable running in these. I don't think I'd feel comfortable just hanging out. Um, you can see the tag. Both of these are going back. These are the terry cloth shorts. They do have pockets. The inseam is longer than I first suspected, so my thighs are not rubbing together. This shirt is um, a blast from the past that should not come back. The only thing I've been okay with would be these shorts, but I still don't think they're anything I love so much that I would keep. Here are the green pants. They are such a terrible material. They do not Maybe I'm kidding myself, but I feel like they don't look as bad in camera as they do in person. They're just so heavy, and this waistband is so terrible. I don't know where you're supposed to... It's a drop crotch if I do it that way. It's just... No, terrible, awful, hate them, returning them. I threw on this sweater real quick. The sleeves are a little too short. It's a little itchy too. It's not flattering, but I think the theme of this box is unflattering. Let's just get this over with. I think we have found our first yes. It just took a $167 pair of pants, which, by the way, they won't cost me $167. They'll only cost me about $30. But it's got this really cool slit up each side. They are a little, like, hammer time, but, like, I dig it. And they are so soft. I think these are great. Finally, something I like. So I will definitely be keeping these bad boys. All right, you 98% ladies and 2% gentlemen, I think we have found a real winner. These are the Nike leggings. They go up to an appropriate height. They actually have enough compression that I can work out in them. Most importantly, they've got that pocket on the side, and these are great. I love the way they fit. I love the way they look. They're comfortable. They're cute, and we're definitely going to keep these. So thank God we found something that didn't make me feel like trash fire. That was a journey I just don't think I personally was ready for. And I personally feel victimized by most of the clothing that the Red Up sent me. I think Red Up has a great business model, being an online thrift store where you can search exactly what you want in exact same sizes. So you can do free people size eight and they'll show you everything you have. However, I don't think this is something they should do if this is what they're gonna be sending people. It almost felt as if they went to their back stock room and they were like, what hasn't sold? Let's throw that all into a box and send it to somebody. They closed their eyes, they spun around three times and then they grabbed a bunch of shit and threw it in a box. The sizes weren't right, the 
brands weren't anything that I suggested that I like. I need more. It just wasn't just what it, I'm a loss for words. That's how bad it was. <laughs> the good thing about this is there's only $10 styling fee. It came very quickly and it's free returns. So I'm going to package up all the stuff I don't want and I will bring it to, I think, FedEx, and they'll just take it out, take it away. Never have to see it again. I love the two pairs of pants that I got. I wish I would have gotten a mix of like shirts and like shorts or bottoms to like mix and match. I don't know if this is something I will continue to do if I'm only getting two items. I think I could find better items on the Thread Up website myself than doing this. So when it comes to the Thread Up goodie box, I say, Save your time, save your money, save your dignity, and don't do it. But thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. I'd love to have you back in my next video. I do have a bunch of things coming up that I'm really excited about from other subscription boxes, cooking boxes, and skincare and workout things. So I'm really excited to humiliate myself further on camera. But thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and make sure you wash your hands. Bye.